Greetings, seniors. I hope in the midst of these strange days you're well, and I hope you enjoyed this week. Block X, senior night, the various deliveries leading up to those events and the visits from the faculty members, hopefully they were an opportunity to celebrate and to reflect on your time at Xavier and, and really to enjoy, even from a distance, one another and what you have experienced together and what we've experienced together. And I look forward to what's to come, to, to the baccalaureate mass on June 11, right? Yeah, I'd like to be together, but the opportunity to, to pray with and for one another, hopefully a, the opportunity for you to be together with other family members and friends and, and pray in gratitude for what has been and, um, and in thanksgiving for what will be. Hopefully that will be another chance for us to, to celebrate together leading up to graduation this summer in whatever form that happens. And it will happen and it will be a good and, and great day. So I come to you now with a request in light of this week of celebration. And this really is the, the assignment I gave my seniors whenever I teach seniors. And it was, as grades go, a pretty easy assignment. If they completed it as asked, they got an A, and I got 100. Uh, now, no grades uh, this time, but hopefully uh, the goodness of, of, of the request uh, wins out. And, and I'm asking you in the next week to take some time to write three letters. Let's call them three one-page letters. And what they really are are thank you letters that I want you to write. Because this is a great opportunity. And your graduation from Xavier is your graduation, but you carry with you the hopes and dreams of your parents, your grandparents, other family members, the faculty, your coaches, right? Your graduation is yours but it's theirs too, right? And uh, you, you have a glimpse of how much you mean to folks, right? Over this last week or so, dozens and dozens and dozens of faculty members. Some you knew really well, some you barely knew at all. You only knew their faces, right? But they were out coming for a visit, delivering your, your senior gift bag, being present to you. Ms. P, Ms. Gonzalez, Ms. Sherman, Mr. Cifulio, others, Mr. Lavigny, others organized this for you, right? And, and that's one sign of their real affection for you, right? Their care for you. A care and affection that was made that much more real over the years by their teaching, by their coaching, by their time with you in a robotics lab or in a debate hall or on Kairos or on CFX, right, where the real work was done and the real relationships built. And, and those you didn't know, doing the behind the scenes work to, uh, to make that happen. And, and that's only at Xavier, right? Parents, grandparents, family members, siblings, all walking with you. So I'm asking you to take some time this next week this is going out to you on Saturday. I'm recording on a Friday night of Memorial Day weekend. So by next Friday, write three letters. I'd ask you one to be to a family member, one of your parents or both of your parents together. If you wanted to write separate letters, great. Maybe to a grandparent or an aunt, whatever family member you pick. Two, thank them. There's one to be to a faculty member at Xavier or a coach at Xavier. And then you pick the third. It can be another family member. It can be another faculty member. It can be a coach. can be someone else, right? And, you know, don't assume, right? Oh, people know I'm grateful or I say thank you or they know I love them, right? Think about how you felt when people have said those things to you or when they've shown that by the activities of this last week. Most of you are on Kairos. You think about the, the, the letters you received, right? Many, many, you know, we call those letters palancas, 
All right, palanka means a lever. It's a lever to help you come to see God's love, right, through the love of others. But the meaning of, of having something written or these days often typed, right, if you can handwrite these, great. If you, if, if your handwriting is legible or, or print them, I think that means a lot. It's, it's direct. But if they're typed, uh, so be it. That's fine too. But, but not just, hey, thanks. Not just, hey, I love you. Right? What's moved you? What have you learned from them? What do you carry with you? What shaped you? What specific lessons or memories do you carry with you? Right? Some depth some substance. I can tell you these letters will be treasured. Faculty, parents will hold them forever. Forever. Okay. So it's an opportunity for you to do something good for others, for you to share your thanks, for you to, in giving this gift to people, right, it really becomes a gift to you as well. The writing, the reflection, will be a consolation, will be an opportunity to dwell in memory, will be an opportunity to share emotion. Right? Those, you, you don't want to pass those opportunities by. It's part of loving. It's part of deepening our relationship with God. It's part of building a more just world because we're breaking ourselves open, sharing that, and going forward from there. So I hope you'll take the request to heart I hope you'll do this. I mean, your parents' letter or a parent letter, you, 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 know, you can leave on their bed or on their pillow. I mean, somewhere where they'll find it and w where they'll have some time to read it. For coaches or faculty members, send them to Xavier. 30 West 16th Street, New York, New York, 10011. Put their name on it. I mean, I'm pretty much the only one there these days. I sort the mail a couple of times a week. I will put it in their mailbox. If they're not going to be at Xavier in the next few weeks, I will make sure I mail it to them and get it to them. So between now and next weekend, three letters, you may find you want to do more and more power to you if you do with depth, with substance, with meaning, breaking yourself open and offering that to those you want to thank. So thanks for the request. Enjoy these days, right, of leading, days leading up to baccalaureate mass, preparing for college, wrestling with the uncertainty. You are well equipped to do so. Your sons of Xavier, you've been shaped by your parents and your family. God walks with you. Right? You can choose your response to this. Choose a response of love, of goodness, of commitment a response that moves you forward, that really has you in some way living in Cairo's time, reflecting on who you are and who you want to be. Thank you. Sons of Xavier, keep marching.